so i literally just passed the aws ccp like two days ago but i feel empty i don't feel as fulfilled as i thought i would unlike the previous two certifications i've taken this one was more of a death by powerpoint cram and pass type exam imagine doing something like that after taking the ejpt and the pmpt which are practical hacking certifications all I did was go through Stefan's course, he's a great teacher by the way, take a couple of practice exams and boom, I passed. But the reason I feel empty is because I haven't gotten as much experience and practical knowledge from this certification, even though I know basically all of the theory covered by the certification. So what are you going to do about this? Good question. Thank you for asking. My next AWS certification is going to be the AWS Certified Security Specialist. I think that's the name, but yes, yeah, the security one. And while I study for this certification, I'm going to combine the knowledge from the CCP and what I'll be studying for that certification and make a hacking lab in the cloud. In essence, I'm building a hacking lab for you guys, right? An attack and detect type of lab with the vulnerable Active Directory section and Splunk and Security Onion maybe for logging and monitoring, right? That is how I'm going to apply the theory I went through for the CCP. That being said, I know that there's a couple of people that are still gonna ask me, yo, Tadi, what did you use to prepare for the CCP? Even though I literally just said so. So let me say it again. All I did was take Stefan's course. It's on Udemy, it's cheap. You can find it for even cheaper or for even lesser price, even lower price, even lower price on Udemy. Uh, if you find it on sale, which you probably will because Udemy always has some kind of funky sale. I also took a couple of practice tests made by Stefan and some other guy and by some I mean two out of six. I would have done the other four tests but I ran out of time and I was just like nah, I'll just leave it. I felt confident anyway. So, in essence, go through the course, take good notes, make sure you know your services, what EC2 does, right? what CloudFormation does, why this, why that, and you should be good to go, to be honest. That being said, if you need more advice relating to cybersecurity certifications, you can take a look at how I passed the PNPT in this video, I think, yeah, or how I passed the EJPT in this video. But until next time, stay out of trouble, don't get hacked. The learning continues. Peace from me.